Hello to everyone watching. My name is Christian Will. I am a PhD student at the Max Planck Institute for Nuclear Physics and lead author of the paper Sympathetic Cooling Schemes for Separately Trapped Ions Coupled Via Image Currents. To start, I would like to raise the question, how does one cool an arbitrary trapped charged particle? That is a question nearly every experiment dealing with trapped charged particles has to address in some way. The immediate answer would be to use laser cooling. However, in most cases, the ion of interest is not directly laser coolable. For example, our collaboration uses panning traps to perform high precision measurements on the charge to mass ratio and G factors of the proton and antiproton. If we look, for example, at the latest proton G factor measurement, we see that its uncertainty is dominated by the statistical error. This statistical error actually stems from the finite particle temperature in our trap. So we have an inherent need for a broadly applicable cooling technique. We think we have found a general purpose solution using sympathetic cooling via an electrical connection. The setup for this looks like that. We have the particle of interest, in our case, a proton or antiproton in one trap and a laser coolable species, in our case, beryllium ions in the other trap. The coupling between the particles is mediated by image currents, which they induce in adjacent trap electrodes. Recently, we were able to experimentally demonstrate cooling a proton with this technique. While this was a huge milestone, it was a proof of principle measurement only, and we need to improve the lower temperature limit. That is exactly where this paper comes into play, where we use simulations to investigate what one actually has to do to reach temperatures in the millikelvin regime. In general, we find that a pulsed laser scheme is the most beneficial, as I will now demonstrate with this animation. So assume we have the hot proton in one trap and a cloud of laser-cooled beryllium ions in the other trap. If we let that system evolve, at first nothing happens to the proton energy, because the beryllium ions are so cold, they do not induce any image currents and do not couple to the proton anymore. However, once we release the beryllium ions by turning off the laser, the particles exchange energy called Rabi oscillations. The idea of this cooling scheme is now to turn on the laser again whenever the beryllium ions have reached their maximal energy. If we repeat that process a couple of times, we will eventually end up with a very cold proton as well. In this paper, we will answer the questions, what are the temperature limits and cooling times one can achieve with this kind of technique? Also, what is the effect of experimental uncertainties? For all the details, I would refer you to the paper and I hope you enjoyed watching. Goodbye.